This episode of Tim Talks Audio is brought to you by DistroKid. Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we go over how to set up for mid-side processing. Mid-side processing, also known sometimes as sum and difference processing, is being able to separate what's going up mono versus what's coming out your stereo field, taking care of the mids or the sides of your signal. This is done on stereo buses or tracks or anything like that, where you wanna be able to manipulate the sounds going out of either the midfield or the sides. Let's dive into the DAW and I'll show you how to set it up inside Studio One. This episode of Tim Talks Audio is brought to you by DistroKid. In this digital era we've been living in, we're working online with other people creating music very frequently. And what would be an easier way to pay these people with royalties than using DistroKid Teams? It's an easy and automatic way for you to be able to pay royalties to the collaborators you're working with. You can automatically route any percentage of royalties from any track you've worked on to any one. You can also go in and add or remove collaborators at any time, and it's an unlimited number of collaborators for any number of tracks. And don't worry, your collaborators will only be able to see the percentages that they are earning on the tracks you've worked together on. All they need is a DistroKid account, and DistroKid will take care of the rest, paying out the appropriate amount of royalties. And DistroKid never gets a cut of the royalties. You and your collaborators get 100% of all of the royalties. For 7% off of your first year with DistroKid, use the link in the description below and get your DistroKid account going today. So here we are inside of our session, and we're gonna be working on my mix bus. If you've been following me for a little while, you know that I have a separate bus inside of my sessions where I do any kind of mix bus processing. I don't do it on my main outs. This is just my workflow. If you do something similar, this will also work. Or if you wanna do this on your mains, it'll also work. Everything we're gonna do is just for Studio One Pro versions only. You have to be able to get to the channel editor. So knowing that we need to get into our channel editor, it's also important to know what we can do this on. You can't really do mid-side processing on a mono signal. If we go into our drums and just select our kick drum, we can go into everything here, but it's a mono signal. So really everything is in the mids anyway. To really show what's gonna happen, like I said, we're gonna be doing it on the mix bus. So I'm gonna open up my channel editor and I'm gonna to go to the routing page here. And we're gonna ignore the plugins that I already have on my mix bus because maybe we're trying to do like a little bit of mastering in the box just to be able to give this to the other bandmates and maybe finalize this mix just a touch. Mid-side processing is kind of something that's left towards the mastering stages anyway, but it's good to know how to set it up. First things first, what we need to do is be able to split the information that's in the middle versus the information that's on the sides. And thankfully, Studio One already comes with a stock plugin that can do that. So we're gonna go ahead and add a mix tool. This is gonna go on the end of the chain of the plugins I have, but everything that we're doing is going to follow this first mix tool. So all of the other things before this don't matter. Now let's open up our mix tool. And just to leave the channel editor here, I'm gonna hit the pin. I'm gonna open up my mix tool and it's a very simple plugin. There may be some graphical differences between versions four and previous versions and version five, but all of the controls are the same. When we're looking at the mix tool, there's really just one button we need in here. And that's this one right down here, MS Transform. Now this is gonna be weird to listen to and it's not gonna come across if you're watching on a mobile device unless you're using headphones. So if you're not already using headphones or listening on your studio monitors, I suggest grabbing something real quick. So before we engage MS Transform, let's just take a listen to what's going on in the song right now. Sounds like a stereo mix. We have information in the middle and we have information on the sides. Now watch what happens when we hit MS Transform and then hit play. What this is doing is taking everything that is in our mid channel and is actually putting it out of our left speaker. And everything that's part of the side information is taking all of that and putting it out the right speaker. We've transformed it from the full stereo field to mid and side. 
So now that we have the transform function happening, how can we affect what's going on in the mids versus what's going on in the sides? Well, easy, that's why we're in the channel editor and we can just throw a splitter in. So we'll put a splitter in after our mix tool, but we can't use just the stock splitter. We need to change its mode to channel split. To verify that everything is working the way it should, we can just go up and mute one of the channels. Like this, all of the mids and everything in the left channel should be gone. And we're just getting the side information over here on the right speaker. Now, you can do any kind of mid side processing that you wanna do. For example, I'm just gonna throw a pro EQ on my sides and it threw it in at the end of the chain, but you can just drag it to wherever you need it to go. And I am going to just roll off some of the lows in the side information, because I need all of that to be more mono compatible anyway, and I don't need it on the sides. So let's just roll off everything below, let's say 200 Hertz, this is fine. Another thing we can do since we have an EQ here is just give it a nice top shelf. Now, without even doing anything on the other side, which is our mid information, we've done mid side processing. We've done side processing. But how do we get it back to the normal stereo field that we all are used to listening to? Well, we follow it up with another mix tool. And this mix tool, again, we're just gonna engage the MS transform. With these two instances of mix tool, the first one is splitting our mids and sides, and it's transforming it to mid side. And the second one is putting it back to normal. It's reversing the process that the first mix tool did. So now when we listen, we're back to the way things sound. And we have some EQs going on. Another thing you could do is kind of rebalance your mids and sides. Because we're using a splitter, I can go here and select channel one and maybe bring it down a little bit. Maybe I wanna drop it almost two dB. Here's a quick before and after. So with even just a couple different changes, dropping the mid signal by 2 dB, throwing a pro EQ on just the sides and getting rid of some of the low end and brightening up the top, we're now doing mid side processing. Be careful though, because this can really alter the sound of your mix. So when you're in mid side, find your problem that you need to use mid side processing for, address that and then revert back. As I said earlier, you would do mid-side processing on buses or stereo tracks that you already have inside your session. So there you go. That's how you can do mid-side processing right inside Studio One with a stock plugin and the splitter tool. This is unfortunately only available with Pro as artist users and Prime users don't have the channel editor available to them. What are some things that you want to know more about with mid-side processing? Or what are some of the things that you do with mid-side processing? I'm very curious, so let me know in the comments below. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.